Laundry, may I help you? Hello, is this the laundromat? Yes, it is. Wonderful. This is Niall Standish calling. With whom am I speaking? Uh, this is Carrie. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, are you the proprietor? No, no, he's at work. All right, well, perhaps you can help me. I'm interested in dropping off some loads with you. Would that be possible? Oh, uh, yeah. It would be the afternoon girl that would have to do it. Oh, an afternoon girl. Hmm. Yeah. There's no afternoon boys, just the afternoon girls. I, it's nothing personal. I'm usually more comfortable with a young man handling my load, but if she's as good as you say, then that's fine. Uh, no, we don't have any gentlemen working at the laundry. All right. If I were to empty my entire sack at your facility, would you be able to have it ready by the time I drop off another batch, say, the following morning? I'm a little bit older. Well, it just depends on how much it is and how many people are in here doing laundry themselves, because they have priority over the machine before we do. Well, Kerry, let me tell you this. I have a very large sack with at least a month's worth of loads. Yeah. Let me ask you this. My load is, is wet and a little sticky. How are we able to handle a wet and sticky load? You just have to put them in the machines and wash them, I guess. We do it commercially. Try to do it the cheapest we can for people, you know what I mean? Between us, I try to do my loads as cheaply as I can as well. Yeah. Th that's between us girls, all right? Okay. Now, have you worked with these loads at all? I've been working here in the laundry for 14 years. Oh, so you're very familiar with loads. All right. Are your wash tops or bottoms? I only ask because I have a hard time bending over and filling up a machine with my load. We have both. We have, we have single loads, double yeah. loads, triple loads. Keep going, keep going. We have one that holds 60 pounds Ooh. wet. Ooh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me ask you this. Your bottom loaders, are they power bottoms? Are they what? Power bottoms. Oh, well, we had single loads. You know, you have to throw them from the top. Whew. Normally, what I would do at this point, I would be down at the Rio Grande splashing my load against a rock, but the local constable has a real hard-on against me. But I'm looking forward to bringing you, Kerry, my hot, sticky loads. Let's stick some coins in that slot and splash my load. How does that sound? You know what? I'm going to have to... My laundry's over there stuffed, and i got to go take care of it. Kerry, Kerry, why are you bugging? Well, uh, you know, we have to do them as they come. First come, first serve, you know what I mean? Yes, we do have to do them as they come. We do have to do them. And, Kerry, can I tell you something? I'm coming! I'm coming! Okay. Kerry, I'm coming! Oh, dear Lord! Kerry! This is Lorna. Hello! With whom am I speaking? Um, Alana. Alana, this is Niall Standish. I have lice! Mm hmm Alana, I'm wondering if you could help me. Sure. I inherited a small orangutan in her preteen years, and I need to curb her diet, so I'm going to need to remove some of my lice. How do lice work? Lice work by... Passing one to another for the entirety of humankind. Once you have a pregnant female, she is pregnant for the rest of her life and can lay fertile eggs and make new life. Oh, are you an ape enthusiast like I am? I mean, I have many times wished I could bring an ape into the office to pick through people's hair just because it would be fun. Well, if you're hiring, Sharon would be wonderful. She's good at small-scale lice removal and you don't have to pay her. She eats what she removes. It's a win-win. Mm -hmm. I've had Sharon since she was a babe. I brutally murdered her mother on a game expedition in the Congo, unaware she had an adorable little baby. What luck! Okay. We have a whole circle. What we do is Sharon eats my lice, my brother Giles picks the lice off Sharon, then I eat Giles' lice. Who's Giles? Giles, my twin brother. Oh. I want to talk to her. No, Giles. Back in the box. Not this call. So, tell me more about that permanently pregnant lice female. The female louse, she comes onto your hair and she'll just lay eggs all day, every day, until she dies. And then they'll pass and mate and lay eggs on your hair all day until they die. It sounds like my Aunt Bernice. She popped them out like an Appalachian meth mom. 
Alana, I don't want to eradicate these lies, but they're completely out of control now. Completely out of control. Um, yes, that is what they do. So is there somewhere, is this a number that I can... Alana, hold on a moment. Giles and Sharon are at it again. <laughs> Giles, do not ride Sharon. I'm sorry, Sharon, do not ride Giles. One of the lice has grown so large it's trying to eat Sharon. All right. Get it, Giles. Giles is riding the giant lice. Get down from there. What are you... Oh, hold on, I'm jumping on. All right, the three of us are riding off on the giant lice. Alana, lice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Doodles, love. Tiger,